Good morning, folks. First sticking snowfall of the year for central Ohio. Puppies chomping snowflakes in my front yard made the cold a bit more bearable. I'll come back to that, but start in the desert. The National Radio Astronomy Observatory giving us amazing visuals of a triple galaxy in the process of combining. They claim it is a primordial mass, 13 billion light years away, and have a solid Vimeo video on the data linked below this video. Also this. The Greenland ice sheet was much smaller 3 to 5,000 years ago, on the heels of the warmest land temperatures they can discern about 5 to 9,000 years ago. The biohazard warnings on the outside flanks here in Africa are the new additions today. Both are for a deadly and unidentified illness killing locals. Mount Sinabung slept for 400 years and has given us a few good stories to report the last few months. But nine eruptions in one night and an upgrade of the alert level to red makes this the most dangerous place in the world right now. Locals are being evacuated. Let's kick it to the Bay of Bengal. We have yet another storm ready to hit the southeast Indian coastline here. Our other tropical development just hitting south of Darwin, affecting a larger area though. Major high pressure playing in the U.S delivering the cold for that snow you saw to start the video. 24-hour temperature deltas on IntelliCast match that surface drive from the wind map. Now I want to add a brief explanation included in last night's evening news. Separate storm twisted up New South Wales and I want to use the Oklahoma tornadoes from this year to demonstrate how this works in each hemisphere. A counterclockwise driving low created powerful tornadoes to the south of it when the action on the wind starting at the very center of that system created an air mass convergence tail bowing south from the leading edge where the greatest difference in air masses slammed together we get that energetic equalization in the form of bad weather. Now we'll come back to Australia. Tremendously rare and damaging event. You can see the pop-up storms looking very similar there. But this is the southern hemisphere. We're still looking for the low pressure systems but they're spinning clockwise as we're looking down from above. The convergence still bows off the leading edge, but tails north where the worst weather can be found. The departing megaspot 11899 heralds a drop in magnetic complexity facing Earth. Solar flares confined to lower level events. Sunspots are almost non-existent facing Earth, and the incoming groups look small, albeit complex. Solar wind on a calming trend further still, with speed and density falling taking any geomagnetic instability with them. The more sensitive meters have regained their smoother curves after the jagged jolts. No major eruptions on the Earth-facing disk for days, just some minor surface events we won't really notice in the solar wind. Incoming group down south popped 36 hours ago, but haven't seen much since then on the southern hemisphere. It's a low factor score for the space weather. But we're now on the verge of a double planetary alignment. Venus and Jupiter have been opposing for days while Mercury and Saturn line up early next week. Then let's look to the solar magnetics. We see the orange connectivity line for the magnetic areas most affecting Earth. We're in the positive green as you can easily see and remember from the previous news. That group is facing Earth today and tomorrow. May be muted though if the blocking fields don't open. For perspective, this map clearly shows the larger coronal and lower umbral fields that are in play when it comes to the current openings. Power shown via the solar wind speed escape on ISWA is moderate. As you can see on the AIA-211, those corona holes are not readily visible, but alas, the elevated quake watch began yesterday and will continue. The Mediterranean over to the Middle East has seen a slate of moderate foreshocking. Other locations rumbling as well. The China quake is a major downgrade from the original magnitude, and by the time you check the USGS, they will have added the new Fiji rumble from this morning. Moderate uptick expected soon. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.